James Madison, where we'll show you how to turn your old junk into real treasures. Hi, and welcome to the Looney Bin Library. We're at a new location today, my little library. I've got a lot of craft books, so I had to find a, get a building to put them in. And today we're going to be doing with cork. And each one of us is going to be doing a... a a project. A, a different project. project. Yes. <laughs> Y'all have to keep putting those words in my mouth because my brain's stopping again. <laughs> and I uh, <laughs> hope you enjoy our day. And don't forget, if you have any ideas you want us to do, any kind of crafts, let us know. All right. I have my project in a box. And you're, you need the box for part of this project. Some things, other things you're going to need is something with a straight edge. And I had a little coupon thing and I tore a coupon out. So I'm going to reuse my straight edge along this piece of cardboard. You need a drill and my drill happens to be attached to a Dremel. Uh, I use 16 corks. 16 wooden beads, a face mask, a pair of scissors, a sharpie, and some, this is a stretch cord that I had left over after making some necklaces and bracelets with my granddaughters. And what we're going to do first. What are you making? Well, I'm making a trivet. Oh, wow. Great. And this is where you use your box. You take your corks, and for time-saving purposes, I already drilled all the holes, but you line them up in the box, and then you take your piece of straight edge. You could use a, a ruler if you had one handy, but if you don't have one handy, Do cardboard or an envelope. No, I don't need one. I've okay. got a straight edge. And you take your, your straight edge and you lay it about a quarter of an inch from the cardboard box. And you take, let it go. You take your magic marker and line it up straight. And you make a little line at the bottom of each one of the, uh, uh, on the corks from the cardboard straight edge and then you make another line across the top and that line you want to have down a little bit farther that's the part where the beads are going to be put in between it and you just mark across there all the way and I had one extra cork that wouldn't fit in the box so I had to lay it side by side with another cork and then mark the edges of it and you can see when it all gets done and I learned this from a TV program and oops, they thank see, you they can't see what you're doing well, well can you see down in the box okay can you did you see the box mm -hmm. with the line good then I have the 16 beads oh when you drill your holes in cork, you need to cover your face so you don't breathe in all of the cork dust. And you will get it behind your ears. And then you we, had to dust, we had to dust her off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you will get it all over your pants. You will get it all over your shirt, down the back of your shirt, but also behind your ears. And so be sure to wear a facial mask and not one that you wash off and get the makeup off your face. And I'm, I've got this cord here, and it's going to be, it doesn't matter how long you make it, as long as you make sure it's big enough for your beads, for your beads in between it. And we're really going to use two pieces, but I'm going to do the inside part of the cork without the beads first. And it has to be at the edge that it's closest to the bottom. And you just thread them right on, one after the other, 
I thought you were going to need a needle, but I see that that no, is uh, it's, yes. strong enough that you actually uh, it just push it pushes right through. Pushes yeah. right through. Yeah. Make sure your corks all go in the right direction, and you can do that after you get them all strung on. Some corks that are right out of a wine bottle are narrower on one end right. than the and other end. If, if they're narrower, you can be sure you do the narrow end without the bead. Now, did you boil it, this cork before you use it? You're or? supposed to if you're going to cut it. But since I was drilling, I made sure that it would drill the hole through it. Mm -hmm. And I do have a little flashing on it. But it's not bad. And when they're pushed together to make the, the trivet, it won't show, I hope. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You know, I didn't try this first, and I may not I may have cut my string a little too short. It stretches. That's right. It stretches. This is stretchy cord. So I'm gonna so that's important to use stretchy cord because then if yes. you do, you don't have to. Now you waste can it. put it together with wire, like floral wire. Oh, uh -huh. okay. If you do the floral wire, you can't fold the trivet up to put it in a drawer. Oops, there's the at the lower end. This looks awfully close. Like that. Yes, you this can use little... beading wire. Yeah. Uh huh. But the bead, like I said, with the beading wire, you can't fold, you it, can't fold it. If you fold it, it's going to have a permanent fold in it. Yeah. And if you use a stretchy cord, and this is kind of like elastic, it it stretches pretty oh, good. Oh yeah, it does. I think you might have enough there. Yeah. You might I might it. have to. I might have to have Shirley hold that in so I don't pull it through. Do it right now. Yeah. And I don't have the the box here because my beads, I lost them beads once today. <laughs> and some of them went between the boards out on the porch. That was not fun. I love that Ann finally got her library set up and they've been yeah. working hard in here on it. We still not finished completely. Oh, I know. But it, <laughs> I still got my I still got my six foot cabinet put in here. <laughs> oops, oops. Go through, go through. But we got my coffee nook up. Did you notice that? I did. I like that. And the hooser. <laughs> you want okay. There we go. Last one here. Maybe. That's the coffee nook. And that's the whiskey. hooser. There it goes. Old timey kitchen cabinet. Okay. Little end here, little end there. And you just bring it around. And I I like to make what they call surgeon knots. As you wrap it around the first time, you wrap it two times. That holds it tighter. Or you can use a crimp bead. Yeah, <laughs> but on stretchy cord, you can just do the cord. That's pretty And good. then you turn it back. Let's see, let me try it this way. Stretch that cord. Stretch that cord. <laughs> you want me to hold the cord for you? No. Okay. She's got it. I got little fingers. And now we're going to try to do the other side. <laughs> when it goes down, see they hold in place. You want to put it on the table? Yeah, I'll put it down. I can't work out there because I, I lose I'm... I lose the beads. Put the beads over but there. The There's there that part. And make your cord really long for the outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm making as long as the table. You as long as it takes, yeah, I can always cut it off. That's right. This has lasted a long time. Then Let's that see. way you know you'd have enough. I'm going to do a little bit more. Now, you want to do brown and then 
darker brown, or how do you want I, to do it? That's how I had it planned. Okay. But when I dropped them, I lost two, and I think I lost two of the brown ones. So this is going to be eclectic. Doesn't matter. She's using those big I'm words using again. My big I'm words. telling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Eclectic just means in any order. So you just we're just gonna them. lay back and do this. <laughs> so you go through a bead, then you go through a cork, and then you go through a bead. I like the way you did yours this year. Is it's because mine last year didn't last long. What your trivet? Yeah. You know my daughter-in-law has one. And whoever made it, they did it. Yeah, well, they did, they did hers on uh, a cardboard. Huh. And if it gets wet, if the bowl oh, or yeah, sweats. Thing, if it sweats, then it's mush. So, so this is great just with corks and yeah, weeds. Like that. I'm going yeah, to tear this one up and do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> You can and reuse it, huh? Mm -hmm. Some of the corks that come in wine bottles are no longer cork. They're kind of rubber. Yes. And that kind of... And they're shorter. See? Yeah. That one right there. Yeah. That's the, the new style. But I like the old corks, so you still get wine with some corks. Go down, buddy. I didn't have to buy my corks. They were compliments of the yeah. empty bottles of wine. <laughs> well, did you enjoy? Yes, yes, I did. Thank you. I reused <laughs> my corks out of the wine bottles in order to uh, put juice in the bottle and rewine it. Yeah. Don't you make pepper that uh, pe pepper sauce? Uh huh. You use sometimes. Yes. You use, I use a cork for that. Peppers, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, when we made the um, cactus jelly, we did the juice. Mm -hmm. We put some of the juice, and that, that juice saves many, many months. So. Yeah. Yeah. Put it in a wine bottle and stick a uh -huh. cork in stick it. Stick a cork in it, that's right. And then put it in the refrigerator, and then when you have time... You can also freeze it. This is what makes yeah. it lay down, isn't it, by putting the beads by in? By putting the beads in, yes. Yeah. And then once you tighten it, it, that's pretty neat. Yeah, but I like her idea better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's so how many corks was that? Work. This was 16 corks. 16 and, beads. And 16 beads. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. See, it's starting to do. Oops, that one twisted. Oh, well, he's not all the way in. He's just okay. There you go. Right. I hope you like us using uh, the same medium to do, do different things. Please let us know something. <laughs> Or is there anybody out there? Yeah, <laughs> it was. The farmer at the end of my street and his wife watch it because they see yeah. us. I see people up at, at the stores in town that always say, Oh, I saw you on TV. Yeah. Yeah, I just see that just <laughs> tickles, tickles me. I just love it. Tickles the cockles of your heart. Yes. <laughs> and the burgers and the <laughs> Oh. You're too funny. We have a lot of fun doing this. Yeah. We do. We have a lot of fun. We're, by, yeah. we're, <laughs> we're, by, we're by, we're by far professionals, but we have fun. <laughs> I don't know of a single professional that has more fun. That's than we right. Do. Me neither. And we don't have the stress no, that they do. <laughs> That's for sure. Almost, almost. I'm but getting close. She's getting there. The reason why we're doing the library, and we might be doing it from here from now on, if that's all right to y'all, yeah. until we get something yeah. else. Oh yeah, I love it here. Uh, this yeah. is great. Next time, I hopefully I'll have my books, all my books in.
We, we had to have an organizing party. It's only a party. month, Ann. Huh? It's <laughs> only a month. Yeah, but I've got some people that some volunteered to come in and to help me put my books yeah. together. That's awesome. But what, you're one of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't volunteer. I volunteered <laughs> for nothing. I'm a good organizer. Well, Wayne's got to do something about the different sizes of the books because he's put them all one size. Oh, anymore. okay. So they don't all fit. Okay. Oh, my notebooks don't fit in there. Well, then you can stack some sitting on top of each other with the the binding out so that you see what it is. That's what. I, well, I'm hoping he. I told him I needed at least one inch more. Okay. Some of them. One more bead to go. One more bead. Oh. There she is. I set this out in the, or set it up in the box. And it's just a vegetable box that come from a... You could have done it on a French cookie sheet. French style green You could have done it on a cookie sheet. I, I, well, maybe. They're cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the table's cold, too. This Not is an old table. Yeah. This is an antique. Uh, we all. <laughs> Are we all? <laughs> Well, once you put your pot on it, it's going to lay down. And the wood beads will not burn. burn. Or if they do, or they melt. just make them interesting. Or melt. And if they do burn, it'll just make them interesting. If you can't do a surgeon's knot, a square knot works good. Yeah, I'm trying. Let's see. Did that That's do one it? knot one way and one knot the other okay. way. Uh -huh. And then slide figure it around just a little bit. Some of the knots. And yes. Do you have a pot? <laughs> uh, or a jar? Here, right or here. A, How about my yeah, there we go. go. That there we go. go. I'm trying oh, you can't show the <laughs> name. Oh, okay. <laughs> there Don't we turn go. around for the name shows. There we go. And see how nicely that my, sits on there. Put my little just think you can make uh, rectangle ones. That would be yeah. even nice to set a coffee pot or a, um, a teapot. A uh -huh. a teapot or a carafe or anything on. That's perfect. That is. Yeah. That is great. And then, and then put it in the drawer. It folds in half. And Look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> I like that. That is awesome. That would have to make some of them. <laughs> Right, there's the finished product. It. <laughs> Yay, copy! Yay, for me! First, we're going to start with a frame, a uh, recycle frame. <laughs> Maybe this way? <laughs> I think it's going to wind up this way. And then you take and you measure inside your frame and get your halfway mark. And when you get your halfway mark, take it that way and put drill a hole, mark it, and that way and drill a mark it. From here to here, here to here, and same distance. You're going to tell them what you're making? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to make a uh, little message board. Uh, how do we say it? A little cork board. Cork board with me, uh, for messages and stuff like that. And then it's going to have whole hooks down here to hold a little uh, envelope, metal envelope, for your business cards and for your keys or anything that you got to take out. And I'm using cork. Three pieces of cork, uh, and you can get this at the. Uh, can you remember where I got it? At a store. Yeah, at one of the craft, the craft stores. Craft stores. And I can't say who it is. I can't say who it is, <laughs> but but then I've got to cut it because it don't fit in here. So I'm going to take my. Could you please hold that? This. <laughs> she has all her assistants here today. Yes, yeah. and I enjoy it. <laughs> I'm taking my cork and putting it together like so, and I'm going to lay my cork, my piece the, of the backing for the backing for the picture frame. Frame, and I'm going to mark it, and I'm putting it as close to the middle as I can, so that way this these two pieces here will be even. And that's close enough for anybody that's OCD like myself. Yeah, and then, <laughs> yes. Then I can mark it. That's your second name. It doesn't make more. Okay. You know, you can't make, do this without doing the, um, mm -mm. 
those permanent magic markers, you can use them for everything. Yes. I love them. She's got the uh, extra fine yeah, tip yes. on it. Tip yeah. on it. That makes it so much easier when you're cutting. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thank you. I hope I can use these Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Put your glasses she's on. Done. Very good. <laughs> So she can see what she's doing. So you can yeah. see what you're doing. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to take, and Kathy says it helps to boil these things, but I didn't know how to boil this. So keep in it from. In water in a pot. <laughs> how are you going to do that in that? In just a big a pot. pot. A big pot. Okay. You got and you it. have the microwave. I do no, a lot of good microwave. <laughs> no. It'll mush it. Oh. I think. It that's may not. The, you want me to try it? That cork is thin enough to cut with the scissors. That's good. Yeah, but it's leaving this. So yeah, that's okay. Inky. We'll have the cleaning lady come in after we get done. I'm just going to put it on the floor and sweep it out the door. It ain't going to hurt nothing out of that door. Like I said, there's the cleaning yeah. lady. <laughs> or I could just call the dog in here and her tail sweep it out the door. Yeah. <laughs> tail. This is a dog free room. Right now. <laughs> I know it's already at this minute. Only. At this minute. Yes. We had to tell her she had to go night night and she went out. I got a big dog. She's, she's protecting the door. She's laying right across it. <laughs> there is no one coming in here. <laughs> she ha can't okay, stand it if she can't. One. If she can't uh, see me, she has a hard she has a hard time. That way she twit, she turned. Yeah, I was trying to figure out there what she's go. done. <laughs> it's the skinny way, the length. All right. Keep me straight, y'all. Yeah, we will. Thank we try you. anyways. Thank <laughs> you. You know what? This cork is old. <laughs> it's falling apart. Yep. See, I did it right that time. All right. You did. Woohoo! Okay. Now, I, my glue gun should be... I think it's Probably. warm enough. Turn yes. over. Turn over. Turn over. Yes. Well, I was going to put glue on this side and then put these oh, down. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to put it on the cork. Well, I could do that. But wouldn't yeah. it be just as easy to do it that way? Either, Either way. way. Well, Which way about, do you want to burn your fingers? What about this metal? You've got to think about that. It won't. It flows That's the hanger. That's the okay. hanger on that side. Okay. But you're going to hang it the other way, so maybe you want to take that off and put it in that hole over there. Okay. Let me do that. got glue coming out everywhere. See, we kind of do this as we Those go strings. along. Yeah, we, we don't know. Our... We don't. We can't practice because we don't. I don't know how to get that thing out. <laughs> Since this is recycled objects it's, that we use most of the you time, you just bend it and unbend yeah. it, and okay. then she's going to hang it to the side. So we're going to put it through this way. Well, you don't really Oops. get a chance to uh, practice yeah, because you've only got one. Got one. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So we have to do this on the fly. Back in. There you go. Now it's in the Perfect. middle where you can hang it. Okay. There you go. Now I'm going to take and put it, push my car, uh, cork carpet. Cork. Cork carpet. Carpet. Yeah. You don't have to bring that cardboard this way because the cork is not going to go. Come on. You might want this gun. It would fit. Faster, bigger amounts, faster. There you go. Put that on first. Do it right. Hot glue guns are wonderful for so many different things. They yeah. are. As long as you remember to put the glue stick in them. <laughs> it does help. Yep. And this little thing here, I know it's over 20 years old. That was that when the glue stick was popular with Carol Duvall, Carol, Carol Duvall, you remember her? Yeah. Cover a little more, I think. Yeah, come along on the edge and then that way. Okay. Notice we're all telling her how to do it today. And it's her project. <laughs> hey, I need all the help I can because my brain sometimes okay. Your doesn't work. Your glue's going to get dry, I know. cold. That you do have to work fast with the glue because it does dry fast. So remember that when you're covering them. Yep. And make sure you get them stick. as close to you can as you can. Of course, I can always use a popsicle stick between them. Flip it. Flip it. Uh huh. Oh, this way. Okay. Yeah. There you go. That way she's got this in down here to use so the cord. It didn't crank up. There you go. Okay. 
you can always trim off any yep. excess if it's not fitting just right. Yeah. Scissors are still there. Is yours ready? And I'll put some more in if it feels off. After you, you put it behind, inside the frame, I don't think it'll peel off. Yeah, no, I don't think so either. Because these nope, little people have to flip out. them up on yeah. the frame to yeah. put it in. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut that off because I did. See, I made a boo-boo. I didn't get my first piece It's just straight. an opportunity to be human. That's yeah. right. There's no right or wrong with this. You can always trim it and keep on going. All right. It Nobody is what it is. Difference. It is what it is. <laughs> I need a knife, though. No, that's working. There okay. you go. Now that you got it angled the right way. Yeah. There you go. All right. May I have my... I what? turned your... Oh, you turned all the things up? Yep. Okay. So, yeah, so you... Because it'll be thicker than what right, just the exactly. cardboard was. Okay. Bend all those little prongs up. Did that. Every one of them. Now I'm going to put it in here with the cork to the front. It's important to keep that piece of cardboard on the back. Take the glass out, but keep the cardboard because that's what you're going to put that cork to. Yeah. And these, uh, you can usually find these things at yard sales. Of course, now that we're doing things like this, people are going to be saying, <laughs> I ain't getting rid of it. I'm going to do my own. Yeah. That's where I got most of my. <laughs> I don't pay more than a quarter or fifty cents for my push, frames. Push. push. Here, show you how to push. Push. Be careful, don't cut your hand. There you go, that's really bending it down. So it won't scratch your wall. Yeah, yep. keep it in place. There you go. And now you yeah. got your cork board. And that didn't fit in there right, but I can put a piece of, like I said, I can glue uh, popsicle sticks if I had any right or a there. Ribbon. Or, a or a piece of ribbon. ribbon. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do... Or you can take a piece of this cork that you cut off and hot glue it over top oh. just to give it texture. Mm -hmm. Like three different sections there. All right, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you've got enough. Yeah. Well, I gotta cut you got to cut it first. <laughs> Mark it. I'm doing it this way. Okay. <laughs> That'll work. I'm doing it. <laughs> there we go. Just a yeah. hair more. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. See that? Get the hot glue gun hot glue going. Hot glue gun going again. Yeah. And I'll put your next tube in. Thank you. I tell you, sometimes it does. For this TV show, we have to be assistance. But very much assistance because uh, we get busy. It does. I like that. I like it, <laughs> I like it better yeah. that way. <laughs> it gives it a, a two-dimensional now. <laughs> And you'll have oh, you you did a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a minute. There you go. It's funny how sometimes we can give each other the ideas mm -hmm. and that's why it's important that we hear back from you. So we need, um, yeah. ideas of things that we can do that you would like us to show to other people and um, Everybody does things differently. Okay, there it sits like this. But I want to decorate mine. Now you have to make sure that you have the tab where you're going to hang it on the top. Yep. See there? Yep. There you go. Right that way. That's the top. So I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to nope. do everything upside down. Yes. So you're going to do everything upside down? <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> okay. My CD, OCD, CDO. CDO. <laughs> Compulsive. <laughs> Compulsive disorder. No. <laughs> and I'm putting this, uh, these are little coasters that I found. I to, or it wasn't and by the way, they have cork on the back of them. Yes, yeah, see? Cork. Right. <laughs> but you can also there. decorate it with cards, beads, mm -hmm. buttons. Yeah, anything. Mm -hmm. That'd be kind of neat with buttons stuck all the way around the outside. Oh, yeah. Yes, the outside frame, this. Yeah, on the frame. If you'd yeah. hand me that uh, picture right there. This is where I got the idea. Uh-oh, sorry. <laughs> She's going to get choked by the, <laughs> by the cord. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. There's the picture that she got her idea from. And those are tiles. Yeah. 
That's pretty cool. They almost look hand painted tiles. Uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> but you could. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she paints too. If it comes to crafting, there's not much I don't like doing. Or she'll at least try, right? Yep. I've We've been talking done. about some of the new things that we want to try. I never met a craft that I didn't like. No, nope, that's me. <laughs> and I got it just even as I could get it without measure. Use now, your fingers for a lot of things. Yep, right there. Knuckle, yep. knuckle length down. Knuckle length in. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I'm going to take two. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, huh? I gotta turn this upside down. Oh, yeah, you do. Because I put my hooks down here. Yep, she pre drilled. <laughs> and then she forgot which side was up. <laughs> That's okay. Well, well, shows you the versatility. Of yes. This. If I don't turn it this way, it's the, other, the other thing's gonna be upside down. Yeah, you're right. Or is it? Cut the hooks. We all make mistakes yep, when we're doing this. So uh oh. You gotta take the whole thing and flip it. Yes, I have because my hips are down here and it's upside down. Yeah, see? Yeah. So this is a oops moment. So if you want. <laughs> but that's no big deal because you're using a reused frame and yeah. it has those hooks that just bend up and down. Scissors and flip it. Or push in. There you go. <laughs> we're gonna flip that over. This, uh, let's see, where's my hook? My holes. Down, down there. So this is going this way. There we go. Should have done it the right way the first time. Well, that just proves we're yeah. human. <laughs> yeah, we do make mistakes. And we're showing you that you can still turn something into And mice. we shall overcome, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it right. One we day shall overcome. One way or the other, we're going to get it right. Push down. Push, ouch. Close those things. Push down. Push down. Push down. Middle on that side. Well, it would be funny if she turns it over. Still the wrong. That's right. That looks right. really cool. Yeah. The and white, the white from these makes it stand out because of the white frame. Yes, That's pretty neat. And uh, like I said, there it's real easy to do. Here's your hooks to put in. Okay, I've got to drill the hole. Oh. I got one more hole drill. I've already drilled two, and I know y'all don't. It's sort of like watching paint dry, so y'all went. And I got one of these little things. <laughs> I knew to try that paint. <laughs> <laughs> On that mark she made. And I don't want to go all the way through. Take my hooks. Little cup hooks. Yep, those little bitty cup hooks. And I even got smaller ones than these. But that lets you have big enough for your keys to mm -hmm. hang if you want to. I would hang a flashlight on it. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yeah, to have right there. Yeah. yeah. Neither, then you know where it was. Yeah. What would you hang on it? Um. Eric, one. I don't know. It depends upon where I hung it in the house. So now, if yeah. I hung it in my kitchen, you could hang utensils okay. on it. And the reason um, why we use cork is so we could put messages right on it. Or recipes. you could stick a recipe on there if you were using mm -hmm. it in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, you could. Or you grocery this? Yeah. <laughs> you could hang on the hooks. Um, also, uh, you could take a small jelly jar and put on the center one and mm -hmm. put it put wire around it and put the and wire up where it hangs on there and put a flower in it. Even. I think yeah. that went in too deep. You know, it's yeah. wood, so. If I had it in my kitchen, I'd, I'd put a pair of scissors on it. Yeah, yeah that's a good idea. Because you're always needing a pair of scissors in the kitchen. And you never can oh, find them. You know what I did? Yeah, so I got some that would be short scissors, and I found a pretty little pottery jar with that they slide right down into oh, the nice. top. Okay, well, there's the, the other third thing way. I would put on it is a ink pen that we know with a string on it. Mm -hmm. You can also <laughs> take your scissors and put underneath of there and turn and it with them. No, 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 the other end. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's plastic. <laughs> but that's plastic. <laughs> it might break. Okay. The metal won't break. There and go. there it is. And I'll also Why got this. I? That can hang from the center one. Mm -hmm. These are uh, little card envelopes, galvanized envelopes, and you can they hold your business cards if you ever want to have put your business cards in there. Or pack of sticky pads. Or a, a sticky, sticky pad. Yeah. yeah. Those sticky 
things. So and nice. your keys. Look at that. Awesome. Yay, I there, got it there's, done. There's the scissors. Over can't further. See it. <laughs> there we go. There's the scissors. There you go. And I'm finished. All right. That is awesome. <laughs> we like that. All right. Good. Good job. Oh, by the way, one other thing. If you don't like this little picture, Turn it over and make your put another picture on. You can get it glue the picture cold. side down. Yeah. yeah, glue the picture side down, and uh, you can put any kind of card picture on it. If you like your uh, card that your kids gave you, draw art for the kid from the kids. Uh -huh. Make it smaller to fit, and just glue it on. And use Elmer's glue to put it on with instead of the hot glue. And just make it wrinkly. That's good. All right. <coughs> Very good. Good idea. Hi there, today I'm going to make a cork wreath and um, these corks are not bought in cork. I guess they were bought in corks. They were in <laughs> wine bottles that I had the pleasure of helping empty. So um, what we're going to use for that is we're going to start out with the 12 inch wire wreath, which you can get any any of the hobby shops and they're real inexpensive. I had a jar full of corks and they're all different sizes. Earlier in the show, we were talking about the different types of cork. This is the new type of cork, and you can see that they're a little bit shorter. So I went ahead and pre-glued all of them. Now, these long corks... Where'd you get the metal thing? The metal thing at a hobby shop. Okay. Any of your hobby shops. I can't say the name, so... Uh -huh. um, <laughs> you can get them in lo local stores. Local stores, too, dollar. yeah. Dollar seventy-seven. at the local store mm -hmm. I bought it at, yeah. yeah. And these are the normal size real corks. Um, the, these little corks are always going to be shorter, but the real corks, you don't even really have to glue them in if you don't want to because they will fit really tight in, into the, the um, wreath here. My mind went blank there for a second, but I'm going to take, it, it, <laughs> it's called man. some timers. I can only remember some of the time. Uh, I am going to glue them even though they're bigger. I'm just going to put a little dab. I use the big glue gun because it's hotter and I like it to really stick to it. It burns you um, that fast. You, just, <laughs> you do have to be careful with your fingers. I had just enough corks to do this one with and um, so I got to start emptying some more bottles so that I have, <laughs> have other corks to use for other projects. Um, something I like that you can do is uh, when you go to the different wineries and things, uh, you can put the name of the um, place that you visited and the cork. Uh, and Some of them have it on, like this yes, one here is, is Lake Lake Ridge Winery, and that's in Florida. Mm -hmm. Some of them were from other states, California. And they were, that's where we bought them, mm -hmm. which was kind of neat. You're right, because yeah. that, that, this is kind of like a memory, a, wreath. a memory wreath. You're right. <laughs> I'm putting it on both ends of the cork, it's and then I'm, I'm putting a couple of, it has the name on both sides. Oh, so okay. I make sure that one side is up. So by putting these corks into the wreath ahead of time, it actually made a little indentation in some of them. This is not a real cork here. So, but it is a longer one. So the Sutter Home. Whoops, I'm not supposed to say the names. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> On your fingers. Yeah. Just cut that out. <laughs> yeah, but like this one has the name of the winery on it. It's pretty neat. You, it's on both sides, so you want to make sure that you have it. But you can see the line where it was in the wreath. So you put the glue right along that line if you do it ahead of time, and then you just kind of guess where those other two are, and shove it down in there. And watch your fingers because it is hot and it will burn. See, you can you can really see the divot in the cork right there. Can you see that? He's got and he's and got that's where you're gonna that's where you're gonna put the line of glue right along there, and it's on both ends. So it's good to do that like the night before, if you're gonna do this, and it'll kind of and it even had the two little lines there. So I'm gonna just it sort of irons the stick that down in there. Right. I have five five corks in between each section. Um, they're all into different sections, but I have five corks in each section. I'm going to go over to this side because I know they're not glued in, and I'm going to continue on around and dab that and dab that. I can see the heat coming off of that glue yeah. gun. Oh, it yeah. Is a, it is so a it's better to set the glue gun down and then push it down in from the center, and that way you're not going to burn yourself because this... The big glue guns are always hotter than the little ones, but the little ones, I, I did some of the corks and it did not hold, so I figured I would use the, the high temperature 
and that's what the big glue gun is. But yeah. if you set it down in between each one, you're not going to burn yourself because you can push right in the center. And then the, oh, maybe I glued, one. guess what? I glued that one on already. Okay, this one I didn't. So this is the last one that I didn't have glued on. I pre-glued some just to save time. But now I got this idea on the computer, of course, at one of those sites. And uh, our favorite our site. favorite site, yeah, <laughs> and uh, it actually had, boy, this one's fitting real tight. It doesn't even want to go back in there. I got it. I didn't let that whip me. Now, that one just popped up, so I'm going to go, if one of them pops up, you just go underneath. It's a shorty. Yeah, it's a shorty, and put some glue on the wire so that it, it makes sure you have them all tacked. That's, that's the important part. You can go along underneath and do this alongside, and Spiderwebs. <laughs> yeah, Kathy's pulling some spider webs, but that's that's glue the good webs, thing about glue about the glue is you can pull all of that afterwards and you don't have to worry about it. Do you know you can also take a hair dryer and it melts it? Oh, really? Okay. It melts it too. This is the side that they had you hanging out on mm -hmm. the site, but that's where all your glue is globbed, so I really don't want to use that side. I happen to like the side that has, really? has the um, corks showing more. And what we're going to do now is I took a piece of um, burlap-y looking ribbon and it has the wire in it and I just took and made a little bow and I tied it with a bread tie so that I could have the bread tie to connect it to the wire. And I'm going to take, it doesn't matter where you put it, and I figure I want to cover part of these not so real corks right here so I'm going to kind of put it in the right towards the beginning of that. And I'm going to twist that bread tie. And you always want to take your ends of the bread tie and stuff them back up in because those type of ends will scratch your wall wherever you hang it. So you want to make sure that you have those tucked in. You can put it as loose or as tight as you want. And these you can fluff up, you know, to make them look a little bigger. And you can, poof. that's why, poof them. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like the wire in the edge of the ribbon because you can do more with it. Now I wanted to use this in my kitchen. So what I'm going to do is, actually I have a rack where I keep my wine glasses and my wine bottles and everything. And I'm going to hang this over top of that. And so to go along with the theme of wine, I went to, the, to a store that only costs like a dollar for these things. And um, I picked up two clusters of grapes, and they look pretty real, and they had the mm -hmm. leaves on them and everything. So I, I took and I tied a bread tie at the top and a bread tie down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here. I want the leaves to be right on the middle of the ribbon. So I'm going to kind of lay that there and take that bread tie if I can. And if, the, if one bread tie is not long enough, you can tie two together, and you can... Um, that makes it longer to where you can go from side to side instead of going down through the middle. I kind of wanted these to go through the two middle things so that it's centered and it doesn't flop to one side or the other. It just kind of goes right down in there. And then you flip it over and tighten that bread tie. Just twist it two, three, four, five times. And then take your ends and stick back through because you don't want them scratching your wall. So we're going to stick those back through. Now I don't want it hanging like that. <coughs> Just loose. Oh, I popped a cork. <laughs> so easy enough. Just take, this is one I had put on with the, um, the little glue gun and it just doesn't get it hot enough to really stick well. So I'm going to really stick that down this time and I don't think it's going to come off. Hopefully it's not going to come off. Ooh boy, that's hot. Okay, and I had put the second bread tie there. My bow kind of flip-flopped. So I probably didn't put it down tight enough, or it shouldn't have flip-flopped like that. So I'm going to take that wire, and I'm going to put that on the center ones also, because I think it, it'll keep it from flipping to one side like that. So we're going to take one and go through on one side, there we go, and one around the one next to it, and then we're going to try to have enough there <laughs> to twist. It's going to be just barely. Oh boy, look at that. I left just enough. And we're going to tuck that in. 
<laughs> I got that bow back up there. How about that? And we're going to take those leaves and stick up through the middle of that bow so that you don't see the, the bread tie there. Okay, now I'm going to take this wire tie that I put around the grapes. I want the grapes to kind of stay to the side. So I'm going to stick it through the center, too. And I'm going to twist that to hold those grapes there. Wire ties, that's another thing you can reuse for many, many projects is these uh, bread ties. That's what I use. I kept saying wire ties, but they're made out of wire, so I guess that's why. See, now that's, that is right there where you could shake it and it's, that grape is not going to fall off. That bow is not going to fall off, hopefully. <laughs> and that isn't quite exactly how I wanted it to look, so I'm going to add a second cluster of grapes. And you do that by just taking your, your bread tie. They usually come with a hole in the top of it like that. And you just put the bread tie right through that hole. And we're going to tie it underneath of the edge of this one. We're going to shove the edge away. And we're going to bring it down through the middle. Just like I did last time on the side of two different little rungs on that, on that wire wreath. Come here. Hang on, I'm getting it. No, I'm talking about the spider. Oh. Oh, please. <laughs> I don't do spiders. Oh, I don't do spiders or snakes. <laughs> and that ain't what it takes. That sounds like a song. <laughs> and I'm going to twist that, okay, and make sure you tuck those ends back in because they sure can scratch up your wall real good. You can use, if you don't have bread ties, you can always use pipe cleaners if you have pipe cleaners. Um, we don't want that one flopping either, so I'm going to I put a second... She's playing with a spider over here by me, I'm trying to save and I it. hope it doesn't end up on my lap because no, <laughs> I will scream. I want to put him over here on the wall. I will scream. That's for sure. This one isn't quite long enough, so I'm going to need that wire that Ann's playing with. Hey, wait a minute, still got a spider on. Come on, <laughs> I need the wire. Oh no, you can always take your bread tie. Let me okay. show you how you. No, I'll show you how you lengthen a bread tie. Instead of having two sides, you just take the one side and wrap it around. I'm going to wrap it around these grapes right there. Anne's done for the evening. She has and, her spider. Yeah, she's... I think it just jumped spiders. off of me. Oh, thank you, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that gives you a longer piece to stick through the wreath. Even though it's just one side, that's okay because you can stick it through the middle and then bring it back around that and wrap it at least once when you only have one string like that. I'm going to take these little pliers here. I got, some, here. I got I some different pliers. Get them to know. open. Nope. Here, these aren't pliers. These are uh, wire cutters. Yeah. I don't want you cutting your wire. Yeah. I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to grab it and pull it so that it's nice and stiff there. And if they'll open back up. <laughs> we need some WD-40. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and tuck that up yeah, in there. That then you're gonna bring, <laughs> then you're gonna bring your your wreath, your leaves to the side so that you can see them. That's good. And you're gonna overlap that those two grape clusters, and then you have your bow here, which we're gonna fluff again because it got kind of flattened working around it and everything. You can take the ends and do that. Hey, and then you have a beautiful little wreath. Now, different holidays, if you want to change the look of this wreath, that's why I use the burlap, you can take another bow of any color. This We have spring coming up. That's our yep. next holiday. So yeah. this was a real springy. Um, this also has the wire in it, which I like because it makes it much easier to fluff. And we can... Poof. To poof or fluff. <laughs> and we can just work fluff that right in yeah. with the... I'm just going to hold it here to show you because I don't want to put that on yet because winter's not over. But you can work that right in with the wreath, see? Yeah, isn't that cool? Good. And for Christmas, you can use Christmas wreath. For Thanksgiving, you can get a different color wreath for the fall, wow. you know, and things like that. But the burlap is always in, so you can, yeah. you know, I, that's why I put that on the basic. And that's going to go above my wine cabinet. But this is a simple little project that you can do. And if you don't drink the wine, you can go to the hobby shops and you can buy bags of um, wine corks to use for this. But this is um, my little wreath for the hall for Or you have a, a friends that drink a lot of wine. <laughs> <laughs> and have them save the corks for you. And this was just fun doing, and I think it looks great. I so, think that's going to look pretty. Okay. okay. Yeah. There we go. And it makes a nice gift, too. And that's it. All right. And today, 
We're <laughs> Ann's messing around. Uh, today, um, I just wanted to give you a couple of ideas. You can pick up uh, little novelties. This is just made out of really thin uh, plywood, uh, maybe Luvon or something like that. Uh, you can pick that up. You can just, like Ann said, get this at one of the local hobby shops or uh, hardware stores, things, and you can just glue uh, cork on this. Uh, you can put your notes on it, push pins. You can decorate it with uh, little with whole notes. Clip, clip. Little your key yeah, cards and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, it's upside just, down. Yeah, have it upside down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That side's that Close side. Pins. Here we go. Yeah. Little clothes pins that have um, flowers on them. Yeah. There we go. So just different things. Ever what you want to use. Uh, if you've got some old, uh, Probably. you've just cut out some designs on some wood uh, that's you've had around, and maybe you want to repurpose those. Just Cut out some little uh, cork on the end of that and and uh, different designs and you can repurpose that. So anything that you've got around the house uh, that you can use uh, just to make little trivets and things. You know what you could do with that too is hang it on the wall in the kitchen and you, when you have a recipe card and you're doing it, you could, or you could hang it, make this bigger and hang it on a doorknob and put your recipe on there. That would be great. Like yeah. a cabinet knob. Yeah. 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 As we said, there's different things that you can use that you've got around the house that uh, you may have used as different things. Maybe these were on the wall and had been there and you just put the little cork on it. And like I say, you put your recipes, put your notebook, uh, your notes on there. But just or you all kinds of different, <laughs> different items. You could put your hot pots on it. You can. So there's all different things that you can this use with a cork. I like that. Well, you know, I collect teapots. Yeah. So. Uh, all three of them collect teapots, and they're working in my teapot. And she collects coffee pots. Yeah. That's I don't neat. want your teapot. No, that's pretty neat. My all tea right. would leak. <laughs> yeah, I use oh. my teapots. I was going to tell you, uh, you could, some of these cab, kitchen cabinets have that inset in their uh, the yeah. doors. You could put this cork. Let me have the cork back. <laughs> Buy cork and rolls. Yes, and you can put your cork in there, and you've got right there beside your sink or your telephone, and you've got your uh, self little cork board to put all your messages and all on. Push Perfect. pins stick in them. Yeah, yep. yeah. push pins. Yep, buy a no, lot push of push pins. pins. Like I said, you can <laughs> you can uh, recycle and upcycle a lot of different things that you have around you the house. Can. Yep. Just use your imagination. It's a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah. I've got, got one more thing. It's a. It's also a, a repurpose thing. I use a lot of bags, so that's a repurpose. Did you know that there was a whale that had three thousand plastic bags inside of him? Oh my Good. gracious! It's not just from one country, but from all over the country, all did different die? countries. Yes, he died, and they found the bags when they did the autopsy oh or in the crime. Oh, isn't yeah. that amazing? And he had all these plastic bags. So, don't take your plastic bags to the beach. Recycle them. If you do, them. if you do, yeah. take them back home with uh -huh. you. And I've got this. I bought a cake. And this is the top from the cake. And I needed something that to where I could put a little oil. And I bought a rosemary plant this year, and yes, I kept it alive all winter. All right. <laughs> mine does. You did better. Mine died too. You did better than I did. <laughs> Mine's living out there in the yard. But I yeah. know. Well, I've got I had to wait for the spring in order to plant it. This is an old Worcestershire boss. Sasha. Worcestershire, or whatever Black sauce. Is. Yeah. Black sauce. Bottle. <laughs> State sauce. Black and State it sauce. came with a, a pluggy lid mm -hmm. that has holes in it. So you can pour it out just a little, and depending on how you turn your bottle, you get all these different things. And here's the cap. And I have a clove of garlic. Aren't you supposed to mash it? Yes, I'm going to mash it. 
Okay. And a cork. And a cork. <laughs> <laughs> you can use the cork or you can use the little holy lid or whatever it is. But I like uh, rosemary chicken. And in order, see I just twist, whoops, I don't know if you saw me, but I just twisted the clove of garlic in order to get all the peel off of it. Here, let's move this back here with me. All right. Then you can, then they can see you. And to crush it, you can do it with your hands. Some people do it with the side of a knife. A little twist that releases your garlic oils and put it right down in the bottom. Take your scissors and let's cut off. And it does not hurt your rosemary. It makes it grow better. Uh, about there. <laughs> it makes it, it grow better if you keep it cut back. Yeah, yes, it it'll... does. All of this top. There you go. And the rosemary, if you twist it a little bit. Oops, I was going to yeah. put some in there. <laughs> drop them in. You know, all we all have to have a little sound effect. It makes it more fun. Oh, Let's cut another one. This one has like four tops to it. That's because it's been cut before. Yeah. Yep. That's what happens. Ooh, she's going to take a big one. And I'm going to. See, now I probably would have put 10 cloves of garlic in there because I really <laughs> like garlic. <laughs> Stick him in. I grew garlic this year for Did the you? first time. Oh. I, I put it in last I spring and it takes a whole year, so it'll be spring that I take it out of the ground. Mm -hmm. The tops are still that's green. enough. Mm, that smells so good. <sighs> now, this is uh. extra virgin olive oil. Yeah. And we did not say that this is, you know, one of the pluggers. <laughs> this is another one of them pluggers, but I don't want the plugger because he might bubble. Yeah, and then it makes a mess. Yeah. We didn't say that uh, um, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. Oh, yeah. Um, it sure oh, is. And my olive oil is not as green as I thought it was. This was going to be our... The bottle is. Yeah, the bottle <laughs> is. But... Yeah. yeah, the rosemary is green. Yep. Yeah. Oops. You're out of breath. Didn't yeah. quite fill it. That's all right. That's okay. I've got another bottle like this at home. I'll finish filling it later. And you can always use that bottle to do some more. Oh, this bottle, I have plans for it. <laughs> I'm going to put... Um, that's your plug. No, nope, oh, that's a plug for that, that one. Here. But then you can't use you the can, cork. You can use the cork if you're, and this was a broken cork even, and I trimmed off the bottom. You can use the cork and see Ann? Mm -hmm. All right, look at this. Look, look, look. I see that. Or if you don't want your rosemary and stuff to come out, and you can just keep refilling the bottle. Add more the cloves of garlic. Add more cloves of garlic for sheer. Add onions if you want. Pepper. It's all right. And Peppers. they don't spoil in the and oil. See, so it doesn't really go back in there. But you've got the cap. The Worcestershire bottle. It's nice to put that on it when you set it on the table yes. because then somebody can take it and pour it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty and, neat. And that's our recycle thing. That's well our, that's our repurpose. Repurpose, that's right. <laughs> yeah. That's repurpose right. it. And this one, I'm going to get some of that jute. And go around the top a couple times and maybe up from the bottom a little bit after she soaks the labels off well maybe I've not heard yeah you could leave the label on but i heard that you can put vinegar and dish soap in hot water fill the bottle with hot water and lay it down inside and the vinegar and the dish soap will take the label off it from does. inside just completely. The vinegar cuts the no. glue that's on the label. Yeah. Yeah. And the uh, and the soap makes it slide right off. Uh -huh. That's okay. pretty neat. So I like that. that bottle. So don't throw away used. your little bottles. That's right. right. Yep. And that makes a nice gift even. Oh you know yeah. that you could use those uh, olive bottles. 
It's got the little round, bigger round mm -hmm. with the bigger mm -hmm. round top. Those will make some good pretty ones. And that's called infused oil, right? Yes, that is infused Herb oil. infused oil. And you can use any herbs you want. And when you go to bake a chicken, basil would be good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> We're going to get hungry. <laughs> I am hungry now. <laughs> but go to bake a chicken and you take this and just drizzle it, drizzle it over. Rub it, because your chicken likes to be tenderized. <laughs> I pretend with my chickens. <laughs> my chickens are alive. Them. I don't have to pretend with them. <laughs> chickens like to be petted. They do. They? they do. Yeah, and it just... She it names hers. That's why she got to eat them. <laughs> it puts all that uh, rosemary and the garlic and the basil flavors and how, whatever you put on it. It just puts it all down coats that chicken and it just goes right on. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sounds yeah. good. That sounds real good. Yeah. Well we've had fun today. We have. Yeah. yeah. We hope that we gave you some new ideas or things to Yes. To and to do to do, recycle. Because yeah. we do love to recycle. And we would love for y'all, I don't know whether uh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, re remember to recycle because the more you recycle, reuse, and all this other stuff, that the less that's in the landfills, the less that we're damaging our country, our ground, our, our animals, water, animals, animals, animals yeah. water. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because all that stuff finally does leach into our water systems, and that's what we're drinking. Plastic bags. Plastic. Takes yeah. forever for them to... Disintegrate, yeah. So, and they also have, they've seen uh, ant fish caught in those six pack rings. And ducks yeah. and uh -huh. other birds, yeah. they get caught in those six pack rings. And yeah. the sea turtles, which are very, uh, they're almost extinct from what I understand. They eat those plastic bags just like the whales do because they think they're jellyfish. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, please don't throw them in the got to take them down to the water, bring them back. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the camping etiquette when you camp is whatever you bring in, you bring out. Yeah, carry it back with you. So that's, that's a good day. Yes. Yes, so we have stores that yeah. will take the bags, anybody's that's bags, right. back. And if you're and going to the store, you might as well take a bag of bags back. That's right. Or two. Or three and if you need bags, go to the store and get them. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. And every time I, they try and put my bread in a bag, That's I said, it's awesome. already a bag. I don't need another bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And we're finished, except for our normal thing. <laughs> Please remember to reduce. Reuse. Recycle. Repurpose, recreate, recreate, reimagine. Re all the re's. <laughs> all the re's. <laughs> all the re's. Re re yeah. Recraft. And next month we're going to be flower pots. Flower pot crafts. Ooh, yeah. That'll be fun. Wait. See you next month. Yeah. Bye. Bye. And Bye. do let us Bye. know if you like our show. And let, and tell, let us know you're out there watching. <laughs> they like it. They like it. <laughs> That's it. Bye. See you next month.